Hey guys, I'm Peggy Dean. I'm a professional watercolorist, and today we are going to be exploring Fine Tech Pearlescence, which are metallic watercolors. We're going to visit some envelope design, and this is going to be very simple because we're just going to uh, use the borders to create some leaves, which just adds some really pretty interest for your recipient. So I'm going to start with my stem, and just with the tip of my brush, I'm going to drag it up. And then I'm going to go into my leaf, which is full pressure, and pull through to the tip as you lighten your pressure. And you can see that the fine tech metallics really pop on this paper. And fine tech has a ton of beautiful colors to choose from, and I thought that the pairing of the mint fine tech with this nice forest green envelope would be really pretty. Um, it's like that subtle hint of green instead of just a stark silver. To do this, I am using some darker envelopes and a round brush. The round brush will allow me to do real fine lines on the tips and then go uh, push for more pressure, which will create broader strokes. So overall, just in one simple stroke, you're making a really beautiful project with very little effort. And that's all there is to it with these envelopes. So from here, you can go ahead and address to, well, first you wanna let this dry, and then you can address it to your recipient. And then they have this beautiful, shimmery, framed leaf envelope. Just wanna make sure the inside looks as pretty as the outside. <laughs> So now I'm going to move on to a different color to show you some other colors and how those will show up on this envelope. So I'm going to start with this beautiful, my favorite, the Golden Rose. And I'm going to create my leaves with this color and then we're going to move into some real simple florals that you can also add. going to, for that, use this orange copper color. I'm using it because I think that it will blend really well with the red so it's not too vibrant. It'll just be enough to make it more ornamental. but it kind of holds almost a monochromatic scheme without actually doing that. Um, and you can see all I'm doing is creating more of a C curve. So I'll do one from right here with full pressure. And then I'm just doing two strokes that are C curves and kind of go into each other to create petals and they're more anchored in the center. And then maybe I'll pop another one just from the top. And remember, you can overlap Fine Tech because it is opaque. So it will not only show up brightly on this paper, but it will also show up on itself, which is a really great benefit to this paint. There we go. And then what I can do is drag these leaves almost through it by extending the stem. So you can always add on additional illustrative elements even after you think that you've decided on one of them and then change your mind. So then you have another really pretty envelope with just a little additional pop and 
This is still drying, but as you can see, this flower right here and this one, they've completely dried and you have that really nice metallic finish. We're gonna move into a pink envelope now and I'm going to use this nice bright Caribbean green. And I'm gonna show you a different type of leaf that will give you even a larger base. Um, it's a little bit fatter. So I'm gonna still do my stem, but rather than doing a bunch of small leaves coming off of that, I am going to use my full pressure and only focus on one side and come up and then go to the other side and leave a small amount of white space in the middle and then join it at the top and that is creating a nice full body leaf. And using the larger ones, they're a little less wispy, a little more playful. So you can see that you have more of an elegance here, whereas this one is a lot more playful depending on the mood that you're going for. I also like to include some leaves that are coming off the page as well because it really helps with your framing. And then you can have some that reach inward even more. The second element that I want to add to this one are really small branches with little balls at the end. And these balls can be either almost like the end of a branch or you can add a pop of color to create more of a berry appearance, which is super fun. So I'm going to use, I'm trying really hard not to use my favorite rose gold here. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. You guys love it too. <laughs> so I'm going to use this uh, golden rose color and I'm going to, with the very, very tip of my brush, it's a smaller brush that I'm using also. It, you can get the same effect with the larger ones, you just have to really do light pressure and I don't like thinking that hard. So I'm using a smaller brush and I'm going to come up very lightly and then I'm going to curve out as you see, but then I'm going to come off of the same one and curve out the other direction and make that a little bit longer. And I'm gonna just do this throughout and it doesn't have to come from the edge, it can come from the inside of the leaves here. Okay, so a few does the trick, you don't need to overload it. And then if you want to opt for the pop of color, you just grab whatever color you like. I'm gonna use more of a red hue. And then you just add a small pop, little ball at the ends of these. If you wanna get really wildly out of control, you can also add in some little extensions off of the stems, or excuse me, branches, whatever you will, that you've already uh, painted. As you can see, that's going to add even more interest, but it gets a little, more ornate that way. So it really depends on the vibe that you're going for, how much detail you really wanna put in there. But I like to show you this so that you have options. And that is it, and then you can address it. So I'll show you how that metallic shows up. It's nice and pretty, this area is dry already. Looks so nice. So these are your finished envelopes on some different colors, so the options are really endless here. 
I am Peggy Dean and this is Fine Tech and we will see you next time.